Yeah, we have indeed. Let me tell you what Nicola Sturgeon has been saying in the last uh, few minutes. She has said that this has been a traumatic time. Uh, of course, let's remember this is the former First Minister whose home was raided. Her husband, the former Chief Executive of the SNP, uh, Peter Murrow, was arrested uh, just a number of weeks ago, describing this period as traumatic, saying that she has not spoken to Police Scotland as part of this long-running police investigation examining fundraising and funds of the party, the biggest political party in Scotland. She also said that she was given no notice of that police raid at the home that she shares with Peter Murrow a number, a number of weeks ago. Uh, she also denied that the timing of her resignation, that shock resignation earlier on this year, that brought uh, many people by, by surprise, her leaving after more than 3,000 days at the helm here in Scotland, she denied that this uh, looming police investigation, uh, this looming number of arrests that we have witnessed in recent weeks, played a factor in that role, to in that decision to resign. She was also levelled uh, with questions around uh, criticism of secrecy. This has been a long-running accusation that Nicola Sturgeon and her husband Peter Murrell, the two at the top of the SNP, have... Uh, dealt with in recent times uh, around keeping secrets around what was happening at the high ranks of the party. She denied uh, that that was the case and denied as well that they uh, were keeping uh, out of the public domain the fact that they had auditors, uh, the fact that they did not have auditors at that point in time. I am now being told that we can now hear what Nicola Sturgeon has had to say in the last few minutes. I understand uh, the... Uh, the view that some people might have, that I knew this was all about to unfold and that's why I walked away. Nothing could be further from the truth. I could not have anticipated in my worst nightmares uh, what would have unfolded over uh, the past few weeks. Uh, I believe the SNP, uh, notwithstanding the, the real difficulties uh, that surround uh, the party just now, is in uh, good shape and I think Hamza will take it to even better what appeared to be a tearful exchange from uh, the former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon at Holyrood uh, this afternoon. She said she was going to make no comment about this motorhome that was an asset of the SNP, uh, apparently in the region of around £100,000. One person who has been making a comment is the man who has just gone through that gate. Pictures uh, of Colin Beatty uh, arriving home last week uh, when he had been facing uh, hours of questioning, a day of detention by by police, he making that uh, major revelation uh, this afternoon that he did not know that the SNP owned this motorhome. Why is that significant? Well, it's at the very centre of this long-running police investigation. It has been seized outside the home of Peter Murrell's mother, Nicola Sturgeon's mother-in-law. That is currently in police custody, we understand, in Glasgow. Uh, so there are questions around who knew what and when around that vehicle uh, specifically. And it's also interesting that Colin Beatty says he did not know about that motorhome at all because he is the man whose name is on the latest audited accounts of the SNP. Uh, £80,000, more than £80,000 in motor vehicles uh, on those latest audited accounts. No doubt his intervention this afternoon will create more, more questions than answers. Indeed. Connor, thank you.